Hey guys, today on Know Your Produce we're making vegan green bean casserole. It's so comforting, perfect for the holidays or just when you're craving it. So to get started we need to make a cream of mushroom soup, like the canned condensed stuff but we're making it from scratch. So to start we're using some olive oil in a pan. I'm also going to add in onions because it gives it tons of flavor. And then we're also going to add more flavor by adding in fresh chopped garlic. And then of course, we're gonna add in mushrooms. I'm using Bella mushrooms, these are my favorite mushrooms, but you could also use whatever mushrooms you prefer. And then we're just basically gonna sweat these out, let them cook down, and if you wanted to keep it oil-free, you could use some vegetable broth, that also works as well. And I definitely try to limit the oil in our diet, but I feel like when I use garlic and onions in a pan, I like to add a little bit of oil because it gives it a richer, deeper flavor, especially for something like this. So we're just gonna cook these down just until they're tender and you just wanna make sure you keep an eye on them, you don't want them sticking to the pan. Now once they're cooked down, I'm gonna add in the flour. I wanna make sure they're all coated and I cook it for about one to two minutes, and then if you want it to be a dark, rich color, you can cook it to probably the two minutes. If you want it to be lighter, you can cook it for about 30 seconds to one minute. And we're just using the flour to thicken this up because when you think of a condensed soup, it's rich and thick, and that's what we need for this recipe. Now we're gonna slowly pour in the vegetable broth and milk, and we wanna make sure that we keep an eye on this and mix it constantly so it's not gonna burn. We wanna really get this to thicken up and form that condensed like soup. And also, if you wanted to use this as a regular soup, this is absolutely perfect. You could just add a little bit more of the nut milk and the vegetable broth, and it makes for a great, comforting soup. Add some herbs in, and it's super delicious. So like I said, we're going to keep whisking this constantly, keeping an eye on it. It's going to get thick and bubbly, and that's when we'll take it off the fire. For about 10 minutes, we're going to cook this. As you can see, it's nicely bubbling. I keep going in and scraping the bottom of the pan because I don't want it to stick, and I really want to make sure that there's no clumps, nothing's getting weird and curdled, and everything looks really smooth and creamy. Now while our soup is thickening, I'm going to get started on the green beans. We like to use fresh green beans. We find that they hold up really well and they look beautifully green even when they're cooked. My daughter loves to snap off the ends, we give it a good wash, and then I cut them in half before putting them into the boiling water. What we want to do is basically cook these down just so they're tender, because remember we're also going to cook these in the oven, so if you like them nice and hearty, don't overcook them. I'm also going to go back to the soup and add in our French onions. These onions are perfect, they flavor the meal even more, and they also give it a little bit more texture inside of the casserole. Now that our soup mixture is done, as well as the green beans, everything is nice and warm. It's ready to be mixed together. What I love about this is you can actually mix it all together and then pop it in the fridge and then be ready for whenever guests come over and pop it into the oven. So this doesn't have to be made right away. You can actually make it in advance as well. So we're just gonna mix this up and make sure that all of those green beans are coated in that delicious and creamy soup. And you can see how beautifully creamy it got. We didn't need to use a can. We basically had all these staples in our home. So now anytime you have a recipe that calls for cream of mushroom soup, give this a try. It's made from scratch and it's perfect. No need for the can. Now when it comes time to bake, we're basically just putting this into our favorite baking dish that's perfect for serving. Or if you wanted to do individual servings, it would be perfect in some mini ramekins. It's so cute and so personal for each person. Now that it's in our casserole dish, the only thing left to do is top it with those crispy fried onions. They give it a nice crunchy texture on top and they also add a little bit of flavor. You could use any fried onions that you have or even make your own homemade. Once it comes out of the oven, it is delicious and ready to serve. We hope you like and enjoy this recipe. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.